drawing a grid using your new circular drawing guide templates. Before you get started using your new tools, note the number on each of your templates indicate the size of the circle that can be drawn using this template guide. For example, the template marked with a 10 will create a 10 inch circle. The template marked with a 6 will create a 6 inch circle. That's why it's very important to follow the printing instructions showing you how to ensure your printer does not automatically resize the page. Now to prepare our paper for creating a mandala, cut your paper so that the width and the height are the same. For example, a 9 inch by 9 inch square like I'm using here. We'll need to determine where on the paper we want the center of our grid to be. And we can use the numbering guide on the two straight edges of the number 14 template to find the middle of our paper. And here's how. Turn this quarter size template so that you have a straight edge running along the bottom of your page and a straight edge running through the middle of your page. Now considering the size of your paper that you're starting with, use the correlating number and line that up against the left hand side of your page. For example, my paper is 9 inches by 9 inches, so I want to use the number 9 guide and place it along the left edge of my paper. Slide the straight edge down so it is even with the straight edge of my paper. Now I will lightly draw a line along the center edge of my guide. I need to rotate my paper so the edge that was along the right is now along the bottom. Once again, I will align the number on my grid against the left edge. Slide down my template so that the bottom straight edge is even with the bottom straight edge of my paper. Use the right edge of my template and very lightly draw a line on my paper. And where the two lines I just drew meet, that's the center of my paper. If you are starting out with a page that is half or quarter size measurements, then you can determine where the center of your page is using a traditional ruler. Next, using the drawing guide template closest to the largest size circle we want to make on the page, we will align the center of the guide with the mark we made on our page. Very lightly, draw all the way around the drawing template. This will create the outer rim of half of the circle grid and we need to use a very light touch when we're doing this because later we want to be able to easily erase these pencil lines. Next we'll need to make a small dot or dash line at each point where the inner guidelines meet the outside curve of the template. I call these little guidelines pie cut lines. You'll see why in just a moment. Now we need to readjust the drawing guide template on the opposite side of our paper. Align it with the straight line and the center point previously drawn. Now we will draw around the curved edge of our template to complete the outer rim of our circle. Again, Make a small dot or dash line at each point where the pie cut guides meet the outside curve of the template. Next, we need to turn the drawing guide template until two of our outer ring markings are lined up with the straight edge of the template. And the center points match up 
as well. Using the guide, we'll draw a straight line between the two markings. Then we will repeat this step until all the outer ring markings have a connection line to the matching marking on the opposite side. This will leave us with a circle that looks like it has evenly spaced pie cuts in it. Now we will set aside our large size drawing template and we'll choose a smaller one to create the next line of our circular grid. Align this smaller drawing template so the center and the pie cut lines match up to the lines we've already drawn. Now we will draw around the curved edge of our template to create half a circle. Then realign the template and draw the second half of our circle. Set this template aside and move on to the next smaller size circle we want to use to create our grid. Again, repeat the same steps. Align the template up with the center and previously drawn lines. Draw around the curved edge of the template to create half of a circle. Then realign it and draw the second half of the circle. Notice that with each smaller size circular template we are using, we're creating another row of cells inside our grid. You can draw larger size cells in your grid by using only the pie lines that have a diamond marking on them. Using all of the pie cut lines will result in having smaller cells. Likewise, using all of the circular templates will give you more rows with smaller cells. And using only a few of the circular templates will result in having fewer rows with larger cells. How to use the quarter size templates to create circular grids that include 11, 12, 13, or even 14 inch size circles. First, create a circular grid using the 10 inch template and any smaller templates you may want to include. Then come back in with the largest size circle you're going to want. For example, if we wanted the total size of our mandala to be 14 inches, we would now use the number 14 template. Align your quarter size template with the center mark and the one quarter pie cut lines previously drawn. Notice that the tick marks on each straight edge of our larger size templates will match up with the circular rows you've already drawn. Once you have your template in place, draw around the curve edge of the quarter size template and add small dots or dash lines at each point where our pie cut lines meet the outside curve of our template, just like we did earlier. Pick up your template, turn your paper one quarter, realign the template, and draw that outer edge and the tick marks along your pie lines once again. Continue to turn your paper, realign your template, 
draw the outside edge and the tick marks around the pie edge until you have your entire circle drawn. Go back in and continue out your pie lines to the outer edge, filling in the grid as you go. Once you have finished the largest size template, the largest ring in your grid, set that template aside and use the smaller size rings to fill in between the 10 and the largest size you used. Each template will create another circular row in your grid. Once your grid is completed, you're ready to start using it to create a beautiful mandala. Thank mm -hmm. you.